Join us now, Majority Whip of the U.S. House Congressman Tom Emmer from the great state of Minnesota. Uh, Congressman, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Let, let's talk about the State of the Union tonight. We set the scene. Uh, we know that Joe Biden is going to lie about most everything tonight because he doesn't have much to run on. But especially he's going to lie about Republicans tonight. He's going to try to blame Republicans for most of his failures. And we heard that uh, Speaker Johnson talked about Republicans having decorum in the chamber tonight. But have the Republicans talk about what does that decorum look like? How do you respond to Joe Biden when he's going to blame you and your team for all the failures of his administration? Well, Sean, great to be with you. And Dagan, uh, how do you respond? Look, the best thing you can do is uh, just let him do what he's going to do. The American people aren't buying it. The State of the Union under Joe Biden has been nothing but chaos, and everybody knows it. And what he's going to do again today, like he's done so often in the last three years, is he's going to try to tell Americans that what they are seeing, what they are feeling, is not actually what they are seeing and what they're feeling. you got to listen to uh, good old Joe because he's telling you the truth. And you know what? I'm going to tell you, Sean, uh, you know it. Uh, Americans are smarter than that, and they understand this uh, administration and their failed economic policies have driven inflation that we haven't seen in decades. Uh, people that are uh, in the middle class and down are experiencing that firsthand. I mean, they go into the grocery store and they're looking at paying $300 for something that just a year ago they were paying $125. Then you got uh, a chaos around the world that's caused by a lack of foreign policy and, frankly, by a lack of consistency. They seem to equivocate on everything and they don't have a plan. And then, obviously, the southern border, Sean. I mean, there is no sincerity about trying to resolve the problem that he created. Did Congressman Majority Whip, did you have a discussion with the members of the Republican caucus about toning it down? Um, Grady Trimble mentioned Marjorie Taylor Greene and um, her well, essentially heckling President Biden last year. But did you have a discussion about we're just going to keep it calm and button it up? during the State of the Union tonight for those in the room with the president? I don't know that that's the conversation. I think there was a conversation about what's going to happen and what we expect. I think Sean started to bring that up. We're going to have a president who uh, is one of the most divisive figures in our country. He's going to be lying about everything that he has caused and blaming it on somebody other than himself. Uh, our members, I can only control myself, and, and I would never tell Marjorie or anyone else how they need to uh, comport themselves. Uh, they're adults. They'll, they'll decide how they want to handle themselves. But for me, I'm going to sit there. I'm going to listen. I'm going to try to be respectful. And then we're going to go out and tell the truth. And guess what? Americans already know what that is. And that's why there will be a President Trump in the White House next year. And Joe Biden will be done. And you, you, you want to let Joe Biden uh, sit in all his failures, sit in all his lies, and not take any of the blame as House Republicans. And so it's important you manage uh, yourselves uh, to comport with that mission. Um, Tom Emmer, I know you're going to enjoy tonight's speech. It's going to be fun, I'm sure. Um, I, 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 I want to see your face as you listen to those lies. We appreciate you joining us here on The Bottom Line. Thank you for being with us as you have a big night tonight.